I am in need of some paper for a project and I thought I would echo dye paper. I haven't done it with onion skins before, so welcome to my channel and we'll give it a shot. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I like to create journals and I diary in them, so I create quite a few covers. I'm dabbling in encaustic wax and there's just a lot of things going on over at my channel. Anything I come across that I'm interested in, I create a video on it. So if you like that type of meandering, hit that subscribe button. My notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. To get started, I want to create or coat my paper with a mordant. I'm using alum and mixing it with warm water. This will make my paper, the mordant, will make my paper more receptive to the dye from the onion skin. So I'm just mixing that together. I have a, a paintbrush here that I will utilize to paint on my paper. My onion skins that I've been collecting for a while. And here is my paper. I'm using 120 pound watercolor paper. And I do have a couple of pieces of just plain old cardstock in there. So I am painting each side with my mordant and I will lay down just a random amount of onion skins on that piece of paper. Then layer with the second piece of paper, paint that mordant on once again. Now, if you are opposed to using alum, because I know a lot of people are, you can use vinegar. And about... Um, Vinegar, half and half, or two cups, I'm sorry, it's not half and half, about a fourth of vinegar. So two cups of vinegar, eight cups of water. <clears throat> and I think that will get you a pretty decent mordant. I will try it um, that way in a future video just to see how that works out as well. But this is with the alum. Just layering my onion skins. And I got a little thin on the onion skins towards the end, so I'm going back and and picking some off of my first where I was a little heavy with them. Once I get them all together, I have two pieces of um, aluminum that my husband cut for me. You can use uh, cardboard, you can use anything just to kind of tie everything together. I have ripped up an old t-shirt into strips and I'm using that to secure my sandwich. So I have a sandwich of Paper, onion skin, paper, onion skin, paper. Sandwich between two pieces of aluminum, tying it together with t-shirt strips. Now you will notice <clears throat> in this disposable roasting pan, I have a couple of tiles. And I am doing that to kind of lift this off of the bottom of that because I'm going to put it on my camp stove which gets really, really hot. I'm putting just the extra t-shirt pieces in there and they really just got dyed with the dirty water. The tea that I put in the water, I should have wrapped them in onions, but I didn't. We'll do that later. So I'm putting the remainder of the mordant in here and I'm grabbing a couple of black tea bags to put in the water as well. I think I chose to utilize three tea bags. Now I'm using the black tea just to antique or vintage up my paper a little bit more. And I have put it on my camp stove. So I filled it with water. And you can see where it's starting to boil here. And I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes at a time and check on it every 30 minutes. I let it boil for an hour and a half. And then I let it sit until it completely cooled. Once the water was cool, I pulled that out, brought it into my kitchen and have it in the sink. And I'm going to see how we did. And there is my onion skin printed watercolor paper. 
And I am elated with the outcome. I can't believe this beautiful, yellowy, mustardy hue that the onion skins gave this paper. It, I'm setting it out on my table here on some towels, and I shall let it dry overnight. And then I will take some pictures and show you a photo montage of the completed onion skin printed paper. But I love this so much that I think I'm going to continue. Now I have to start saving my onion skins all over, but I'm going to go back, save my onion skins, and um, I think I'm going to use some silk and make myself a scarf because I love this. I love the color. Crush yellow is not a good color for me. But um, in any event, I, th- I do think I'm going to do some fabric. Maybe I'll use it for a book cover. But here is your little photo montage of the finished papers. Thank you for sticking with me on this. I hope you enjoyed. And I have linked another video here that I think you might enjoy. And I shall say bye for now.